Alrighty then. So, the main focus of my effort in this particular uh, session will almost certainly be the race for Belgium. Let's take a look at how that's going. Not only am I behind France, but they're continuing to gain ground. I mean, that makes sense. I am discredited, and they do border Belgium. Let's see what they do. Oh, they dumped a bunch of influence on... Oh, they brought me down to Cordial. That, that makes sense. Well, let's see then. Go ahead and increase opinion. And I got more tech. Okay, I don't need more national focuses from tech, so... That'll do. Oh my my, let's see... Jump me down to Cordial again. And this is basically probably going to be an infinite loop, isn't it? Italy's a great power again at Austria's expense. Here, let's stop worrying about Persia at all. Okay, just discredit me. Waste it on a discredit. Increase opinion. And now... Ooh, I can create some actual states. West Morocco is... Now a state. And Western Sahara... Now a state. They're not going to be the most productive states at all. I won't be able to do any real industry there. But hey. Okay, let's just keep an eye on France then. See what they might want to do. Might be a good time to just withdraw for a minute and see if maybe they blow their load on someone else. Oh, right, it's paused because of the event. Because let's see. Keep a close eye here. Okay, let's not be influencing them for a sec. See, here's the thing, they're very likely to keep spending anyway... ...to get the sphere. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna dump their influence on someone else unless... That's the thing, though. Someone else could try for it. And that's kind of my big hope here, is that... 
like NGF starts, you know, making a big play on them or something. Or, you know, UK. And then France wastes their influence on fighting them, and then I swoop in and win it. Come on. Somebody else just go for Belgium, please. In the meantime... Oh yeah, I've got unemployed dudes down in, uh... in Africa now, and they're trying to build factory. The capitalists are trying to build factories for them, so... That's all I need. Let's see, though. Let's, let's try to get some of that influence in Persia. Well, I need to be taking a break from, uh, from Belgium for a minute. But still keeping a close eye on them. Oh, Japan wants Persia as well. Plurality is great. Um, because it helps re get you research. Anything? No. They're gonna get them back. There's no way they're not. I'll get my own Belgium with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the Belgium. Still, there's some hope that somebody else will make a dumb play. Okay, so I think... Well, I could probably get naval plans fast enough. Yeah, that'll that'll research real quick. Cause I want to start saving points. Oh, poor Poland. No, no, I don't want to look at his Belgium now. Come on, like Japan or someone, try to make a play in Belgium. It's worth a shot, right? Give me an opening! Austria accepts the peace offer from France. Trieste acquires Istria. Ooh! Trieste has been released. Cool. I always like seeing interesting things like that, you know, when I'm not the cause of them. Now... Go ahead and grab this, and see, that's a little bit too much, but that's okay. Italy has declared war on Trieste. Sure. You don't really need my... Oh. France is in this war. Come on, France, don't you have a great power ally to bring in here? I wouldn't even be too upset if you brought in Russia. Oh well. You're not gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and form a line up here. Let's make sure everyone has leaders. Ideally defense leaders. You'll do. Plus one's okay. Yeah, this'll do. Uh, 
And I really wish France would call in, like, even Russia, even though that would make things just a pain in the ass. Just so I could have this be a great power, you know, or a great war. Ooh, I wonder if I could call... Ha <laughs> ha Oh, this is great, this is great. Call ally! So now Belgium is in a war against France, and, uh, and, and, and France won't be able to influence them anymore. <laughs> ah, suck it, France. Like, I don't even expect Belgium will be a huge help or anything. That's not the point. Uh, the, the, the point is just to stop France from getting involved with, with Belgium stuff. Oh, man. I love it when plans like that just work out. Come on, Italy. How did you let France through like that? It's okay, though. It's okay. What's the terrain like in Toulouse? Is that also... Yep, you get a next... ...by Italy, so now Italy can swing west with even more of their troops. And honestly, if France will take a white piece now, I'm cool with that. No, they won't. The battles are primarily against us at the point at this moment. That's the thing. France is much stronger than Italy. But here, I'm the war leader. Let's let's make this a bit more interesting. And maybe... Ah, uh, they've got a truce. Okay, though. I mean, that's fine. Ottomans, maybe? Yeah, France, you fucked up. Let's just go ahead and, you know, do a bit of blockading on you. Would have been nice to have this be a great war, but hey. I'll live. Ooh, I'm taking I was taking attrition there for a moment. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem for my navy. I do have a bunch of transports in here, but Oh, they've got actual battleships. I've just got ironclads. Even still though, there's a point where just numbers wise They just don't have enough to deal with me. That does highlight, though, that I need to get more modern ships in place. So how about I get a few battleships going? And more cruisers. Yeah, we're still technically losing on battles, but that won't last long. And now it's time to be saving up. Um, that's 
not where I clicked. Over here. I don't really need to have a proper line going here, strictly speaking. Because France is just not even in the neighborhood. But let's let's keep things neat. You know, while I can. I've got a gap here, but it'll be plugged before it matters. I'll be able to do the double jump in Persia pretty soon. Oh man, Italy, this is... way to go! This was great timing, Italy. Let's go... Do some more port upgrades. You know, make sure we've got the naval bases to support... a huge-ass navy. And we've got the money to build the naval bases with. No reason not to. There we go. I'm not even paying attention to this war with France. I, I'm not afraid of them. I mean, look at this. Southern France is just... Oh, it's wrecked. Oh man, how do we still have... negative war score against them? I mean, I know battles, that's what it says, but still. Here, let's help out this Italian army. Yeah, see, now, now we'll be good. Don't want the infamy. Well, let's just make sure you're nice and surrounded there, France, so that army is just... won't be able to get a complete surround all that easy, but... Let's see if I can make it on... Oh no, there's a big French army there that will... cause me problems if I try that. Well, it might be worth it, though. Because if there's a battle going on there, then... That counts as a surround. There. Oh, they're still... they have a place they can flee to. And I know I can't make it on time. I'm gonna try, though. Maybe they'll hold out bravely, get some good rolls. Oh, am I wrong? Yeah, I'm wrong. Oh, just in time! To wipe the army in Avignon. Perfect. There we go, France. You ready to... Bitch out. You're lucky you don't have any great power allies in here. Though my infamy is super low, I could... go ahead and take something anyway. You know? Particularly, like... No, there's no way I think that I can actually use it as an infamy-reducing trick. I don't think they have any states that will work for that. So I have a wonderful infamy-reducing thing I like to do, but...
I think for the moment, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll peace France out. Wait till I can get something in a great war from them. That worked out well. Thank you, Italy, for getting into that war. Usually I get mad when my allies start stupid shit, but that was great. And now France has a truce with Belgium and they can't do influence on them. And now I can do the double jump in Persia. Go straight to friendly. And you know, suddenly Russia shits bricks. And I can start doing my justification to establish a protectorate on Oman. Cool, cool. Rubber. And they're all the way up to friendly, like right away. Let's get some liberals in the upper house. We can do a reform. What's everybody want? A lot of people want uh, social reforms. But you know, there's not really any rebel problems, so... Whatever. How about I invest some in Iran? Give me a bit of an advantage over Russia, despite the border. Try again to get to the North Pole. Yeah, they're coming right for us. Oh, there's a crisis. What's the crisis? Um... Liberation, liberation of uh, Seabergen. Well, that seems like an interesting idea. Find out if I decide to go for it in the next episode.